Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how we make a simple and easy to crochet sweater for baby boys. And you will need your hook and you will need four markers. If you don't have markers, that's okay. You can use scrap yarn of any other color. And I'm using a light yarn and 3mm hook. And to start, make your double crochet in pair. I want to make it for two to three years so 28 pairs of double crochet which means 56 in all okay so please check the description box I leave a link on how to crochet without chains for foundation if you want to make it for baby one to two years then you can do 24 yeah, pairs of double crochet okay so this is 28 and for a bigger size you can go 32 okay and after you make your double crochet fold in half like this insert your hook here and take this loop and again insert your hook here and throw the other one slip stitch And then you turn and chain three into the next stitch do two double crochet this chain three count as our first double crochet two double crochet and then in the next stitch one double crochet again two double crochet in the same stitch then one double crochet and two double crochet in the next stitch and for this round we only continue to do this one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet in the other stitch if we are doing it right you should end with two double crochet here at the last stitch and join with a slip stitch on top of the chain three Uh, if you count this increases these two double crochet you should have 28 of them and if you made 24 then you should have 24 and then in this next round we will slip stitch into the next stitch we'll slip stitch and then chain one and pull loop and make this double crochet and here we have two double crochet right from the previous round this increase so this is the first double crochet and then here is the second and on the one double crochet you have from the previous row you do a front post double crochet like this again here you have two so you make two this is one this is two and insert your hook through this and do a front post double crochet in every space that you have this two double crochet this increase just do two double crochet and do a one front post double crochet in the one double crochet like this so if you're new to my channel please do subscribe so you won't miss new videos okay again i'll show you this is one and this is two and then this is front post double crochet and for this round we continue like this i'll see you here when you are at this part here just make two more double crochet one two and then you see this chain three from this row where we increase we do a front post double crochet there like that and join with a slip stitch see these two loops here go through both and join like that and if you want to check you can see we have two double crochets here and two here and we have the same in here as well we have one two and one two and this chain three and here it is a front post double crochet like this 
so to start again chain one pull a loop and twist insert your hook there like this and if by chance it gets loose like that you don't worry okay you just do this and then you go like that it still works see and here we will increase again so this is one and then in the next i make two and then this front post double crochet so in this round we will have three double crochet in each part i call this part between this front post double crochet so this is one and then here you make two so you have three and then you will have this front post double crochet like this and then one two and three and then front post double crochet and continue just like this here also you will have three double crochet and one front post double crochet so i see you so here you can see i have three double crochet and this one front post double crochet and now i will join and chain one and pull a loop again we do the same thing and in this round we will just work with three double crochet in each part this is three and front post double crochet and here also i have three and front post and then we'll start this round again just like we started before and here we will have four double crochet in each part so this is one and then you can increase in the next stitch this is three and then this is four and then from post double crochet this is one and then here you have you will make two so three and then this is four see have four double crochet and this front post double crochet like that. and we continue this round like this okay let's see so here also you join and in this round you work without increasing again with four double crochets in every part just like this okay so after you did this round okay take your markers or your scrap of yarns and we will divide the parts so i want eight parts for each back and front and six parts for each sleeve so i'll start my sleeve right here i want this joint to be on the back so it just marked here so one two three four five six seven eight and here is i'll put my marker there this is eight and then i want six for each sleeve one two three four five six and i marked again one two three four five six seven eight and here i marked again and what we will do here is we will increase only in this part this part of the back and this part of the front we won't increase in the parts of sleeve okay so i'll show you and we start the round I, when you do this the joint is not too visible you know see so this is one this is two three and that's four and then this is five and front post double crochet again here I will make five double crochet this is two and then that is four and five and from post double crochet 
and in this parts of a sleeve i will only make four double crochet two three four and then front post double crochet again one two three four and front post double crochet and in this from here to here we should get six parts without increasing six parts from here and six from the other side of course and we continue just like this and when you are here again for this part don't forget to increase okay you will have five double crochet in each part from here to here eight from here and you'll have eight from this side you already have two here so six more and then i will see you so here you can see i have eight parts with five double crochet see five double crochet and these parts i have four double crochet and if you do this you can see that this is not getting wider see so i want my yoke to be 12 centimeters so this is only 11 i have 11 centimeters of this yoke so with this one round it will be 12 so i'll just start my round just like we did before with no chain three and we'll just walk five double crochet for this part and here we will do we will join the parts okay so four and this is my fifth and then front post double crochet and then one two three four and this is five and i can take the measurement so yeah that that's 12 centimeters you see so so i'll just do this front post and since i have five double crochet in each part here so i'll just do five chains one two three four five five chains and then skip this part where we didn't increase and yarn over and do this front post double crochet like that and and then after chain five front post double crochet and for this part again work with five double crochet in every stitch right here we follow the previous just like we did in the previous rounds and when you are here again i'll show you so when you finish this part and then after you made this front post again chain five one two three four five and skip all these parts of this leaf again and do a front post here and you continue to work five double crochet in every part again every remaining part i mean front post okay and just just like this see then i'll see you at the end of this round after this round and we start our next round again and from this round onwards we won't increase okay we'll just work with five double crochet in every part when you are at this part here so you just do your front post double crochet and in this five chains here we will make five double crochet this is one then two three four five and front post double crochet like that and when you are here also make five double crochet 
and we will continue to work with this number of double crochet and front post double crochet until we are close to getting the length that we want our sweater to be use your measurement from here okay so after you work a few lengths here so here i have seven inch from here to here so so you start the round just like we started before and we will do a front post double crochet a back pose a front pose a back pose and we have this front pose from this part like that and here you will have a back pose double crochet and then you'll have front pose back pose a front pose and a back post and a front post again and we will continue to work just like this and when you reach here you will have a front post double crochet and join and you can continue to do this with two or three rounds that is your choice so you can do just how much you like this part to be okay so after that i will show you how we can make the sleeve okay this is how it looks so far and i did three rounds of this front post and back post double crochet so to do the sleeve take your yarn make a slip knot and this is the back side so i will start from this one from the right side insert your hook in here and start with the chain three and make one double crochet here don't close and the other one you do it in this double crochet here see this finish as one and then you will get this front post double crochet and for the rest we just continue to make four double crochet in each part two three this is four and then we join i mean front post double crochet and we will do four double crochet and front post double crochet and then i will see you in this part when you are at this front part when you finish this front post double crochet you will see this double crochet so make one double crochet in there and we will make one double crochet in here and then so we'll count our double crochet so this is one two and this is three so here i'll make a cluster again i want it to be four only so that's four i have two clusters of two double crochet one from the back and one in this part here so now don't chain three you do at as we did in this parts of the body chain one and twist the yarn to start the next round so this is our first double crochet and this is the second one and then we will have this front post double crochet so here we have two double crochet and when we return we will get two here so in total we will have four double crochet so and for the rest continue with the same number of double crochets so here i made two double crochet and these two from the back side and you join with a slip stitch 
since we didn't increase when we do this part we didn't increase this leaf right we just left it like this so you don't need to decrease this just work with this number of double crochet start your round with the way we did here and you work with this same number of double crochet without decreasing I want to make this leaf 22 centimeters so I will do with this number of double crochet until I get 19 centimeters from here please use measurement okay and when I get 19 centimeters I will show you how we could do the ribbing for the sleeve so here I'll show you I have 19 centimeters from when I started and in this round so start as usual and here I have one double crochet front pose and in this round I will decrease a cluster of two, two double crochet like that and that is two and then this is three and a front post double crochet and then again here that is cluster of two so there's three and front post and continue this round i'll see you in the next round when you are here before you join see this we don't join from here because i want this to be a front pose so i just do this and insert and then here we just chain three this is already a front pose and this one you should get a back pose and a front pose on the front pose Here we will have a back pose, one front pose and back pose again and front pose. So you see you have front pose, back pose, front pose, back pose. Continue just like this. I'll meet you here. So again here when you join just do this and it will have that effect of a front post double crochet see and you chain three and continue one more round back post where you have the back post and front post where you have the front post and with this i'll have 22 centimeters so i'll see you at the end of this round so cut your yarn and secure like that and you can use a needle or your hook to take the tail into the stitches and here is our first leaf see and to start the second sleeve just make a slip knot and we will do what we did in here only okay so in this one we will start right here insert your hook here and make a chain three one two three and here I make a cluster of two double crochet because we made cluster of two double crochet from this side also and here you have one double crochet and then you will get this front post double crochet and the rest you continue when you get to this back side you do a cluster double crochet so insert here and you need to have the same number of cluster just like you did the other side so here's another cluster finish as one and join on this chain three and from the next round you can continue 
the same way we continue from this side and you count the same number of rows and when uh, you do the same thing okay so you can do that for the sleeve and now i'll show you what we will do with the neck with the collar so make a slip knot insert your hook from the back side and then you make a chain three and for this part also you can just do what we did here or what we did here just do one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet to do that with two or three rounds according to your likings okay so i hope you like my video and i hope you like my video so thank you for watching and please subscribe for more